Oh, come on. We find... We are so close to Sabrina. We've got, like, all the gym trainers, and... But the thing is, we haven't got to Sabrina yet, and Sabrina's the gym waiter. And, she, yeah, she uh, gives us the badge if we beat her. So, I want to try to, you know, get to her so I can battle her. And hopefully, we'll find out her, her way soon, or we'll find out soon how to get to her. There's one lucky panel is that uh, it'll we'll be landing into, into Sabrina, okay? I just don't know which one it is. I'm sorry this is taking so long. Why isn't this working? I'm back at the start again. Shoot, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to go all the way back. I just there's this one panel in this whole that there's like four panels per room, and then there's one panel that lead to Sabrina, and that's a bummer because you have to figure out which one did this case is bottom. I think we went bottom left before. Okay, never mind. We we didn't have power because we finally got to Sabrina. Okay, so I wanna um, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon, of course. Although I didn't really buy any super potions, all I bought was hyper potions. So I guess we're gonna have to use a couple hyper potions, but that's okay. That's all good. It doesn't harm me since we have like a lot of money anyway from still from having, from selling all these nuggets. And by the way, I still have all these. I've still. Have, 36 nuggets, so that's a decent amount of nuggets too. So that turned into a lot of money. Um, who do I want at first though? Um, kind of want, um, Blaster up front. Not Chelsea, but Blaster. And then Chelsea, and then Alpha, and then Fumi, and then Phoebe, and then Thunder. Okay, so yeah. I've had a vision of your rival. I have had psychic power since I was a child. I started when I when a spoon I carelessly toss bent. I dislike battling, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. Are you Sabrina the Teenage Witch? No, I'm just kidding. I bet so many people made that joke or something. I don't know. So here's Sabrina. She starts off with a good eyebrow. It's level 38. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the bite. Oh, no, not the future side attack. That's going to be trouble for me later on. Gonna do future, I can already predict my future on that at least. Let's just go for the another. Let's go for another bite, and she's stupid enough to use another future sight, but I'll take it. And one, one bite should faint, it, and she's gonna use the hyper potions. Okay, I'd rather her use her hyper, hyper potion up now, or one of her t one of her two or three hyper potions up now, then use someone like her Alkazam that's coming up, because that was really stink. It's gonna go for my future side attack, okay? Let's go for another bite. And is she gonna heal again? No, she's not, okay. I'm gonna just take down this Kadabra, and Blaster is awesome. Blaster is a trooper. So there we go. And she got three other Pokemon. Mr. Mime, okay. Uh, I'm gonna use bite. I know this Mr. Mime probably knows Magic Leaf, which would be super effective against Blaster. But Blaster's probably gonna have to go down anyway, because the future side attack will hit soon. Yeah, there we go. Just Blaster's a trooper. I'm sorry, Blaster. And yeah, um, Mr. Mime's gonna use Side Beam. That should that subtly will take down Blaster, which stinks. But Blaster did what he had to do. Blaster's a trooper. Blaster's a hero. And let's go for the Shadow Ball. I'm gonna send out Chelsea next. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. Hopefully, it'll faint it. Okay, nope. Okay, one more shadow ball should faint it though. And it lowers its special defense. Okay, cool. Nice. I like it. Okay, psychic, uh, not psychic, but side beam on us. This shadow ball again, I guess. Shadow ball is cool. Shadow ball is cool in the pool. There we go. And then the storm will go down. Okay. And her next Pokemon is probably gonna be Alkazam. Okay, she's gonna save Alkazam for last. Okay. So. Now, um, Venomoth isn't really a psychic type Pokemon, it's like a poison type, and I don't even think it's a flying type, so I think it's a pure poison type. But I'm gonna go for the Hyper Beam. Come on, Chelsea. Boom. I, I know Chelsea will have to recharge after for the next turn, but look how much damage that did, that's awesome. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna test my theory. Is Venomoth just a pure psychic type? 
or, or not psychic, but poison type, or is it poison flying? So I'm going to try dig, and if dig is, doesn't affect Venomoth, then we know it's uh, at least half flying type. So let's see, um, it'll hit, okay, no, I think Venomoth's just a pure poison type, but then again, bug, bug and poison, I guess, because that would have been super effective. Let's go for the hyper beam. Just before Chester goes down. This should faint the Venomoth, but I don't think it will. It'll probably hang on by a little bit. Oh, it could quit. Nice. Okay. That's good. And I can't switch out because it's my battle style since it's set again. So, yeah. Okay, then I'm just going to get a free psychic or uh, future side up. Uh, Chester will have to recharge. Let's go for a Shadow Ball. Okay, the Alkazam is faster. Give Psychic and take down Chelsea with its, with her remainder of 1 HP. And let's go for Alpha then. Uh, what I'm curious is I want to see if I can burn this um, Alkazam, but it only cuts its attack in half, not its special attack in half, which kind of stinks. But I'm going to try to use my same type of attack bonus moves. Let's give Psychic on Alpha. That's going to do a lot. And a lower psych uh, Alpha's special defense, which kind of stinks. So there we go, I'm going to use a flamethrower on it. I just want to try to see if I can burn it to where it can be whittled down to slowly by its, by its HP. And then Future Sight attack just took down Alpha. Okay. Uh, we're still in good shape here. We're still in good shape. We're on our last Pokemon. Let's go for the Pursuit. It's going to use Future Sight again. Oh man, Future Sight's getting really annoying. But hopefully it doesn't hurt us too much in the future now because you know it's been used and it's done its course at least because you're gonna try to use future side again but it failed and then Fumi goes for the kill I mean faint of course uh, faint of Alkazam and then Fumi goes to level 33 nice that loss shocks me but I but a loss is a loss. I admit, I didn't work hard enough to win. Your victory has earned you the Marth, Marth, I said the Marth badge again. The Marsh badge. Thanks for the 4,300 poker dollars. Marsh, the Marsh, I can't even say it without saying Marth. The Marsh badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Stronger Pokemon will become wild when winning your orders in battle. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much to avoid that problem. Wait, please take this team with you. This is team of a calm mind. Yeah, um, if I, psychic power isn't something that only a few people have. Everyone has psychic power, people just don't realize it. So let's just double check, I'm pretty sure team of four is Calm Mind, which raises special attack and special defense. And let's see if we can find it in our TM case, which will actually be the first couple. Because it's team of four, of course. Yeah, team of Calm Mind. The user focuses its mind to raise the special attack and special defense stats. Okay. So yeah, when you use it, you raise special attack and special defense, which can be very strategic and competitive battling, and for just setting up on like boss fights and stuff on Pokemon. Now I remember how to get back. If I can get to the bottom of the left corner room and then go to the bottom right panel, I should be out. So let's hopefully we can let's hope we can just get there soon. I'm just going a random order, just trying to get to it, but. Hopefully we are so we should be close to it actually because yeah, I think if we go to the bottom right one on the bottom right corner The first one to the corner. There we go. We got our way back to the front of the gym Sabrina Pokemon gym leader Sabrina winning turn on Gary and Grodel. Okay, of course Gary's Gary's always programmed to have the gym badge before us, you know Oh, sorry, I didn't read your, what you had to say. So I gave power, huh? If I had that, I'd have it. I'd make a bundle at the slots. Okay, as you can predict, your slots are the lottery winning numbers. That's actually pretty smart advice giver dude. I'm just gonna call him advice giver dude. I usually just call him the advice giver anyway. I don't know if he has a real name or not, you know, other than that. Well, other than giving advice, but you know, that's like a nickname. So, um, I want to show off my badge case real quick, actually. So let me do that. Um, you see, Sabrina's actually the sixth gym leader in the Kanto region. And I always get her badge before Koga's. And guess what? Koga's badge is number five. So I think there's two ways we could go to get to the Future City, which I'll fly and show you where Future City is on the map. Future City is right here. It has this fire zone, of course. And we're right here in Saffron City. So if we go to Celadon City and then go through Cycling Road right here, which is actually the shorter way, we can get to Future City entering from the west side of Future City. And if we want to go the longer way with a lot more trainers and experience and stuff, more experience, I should say, mathematically, 
with a lot more trainers. Uh, we can go either south of Avenue Town and go all the way over to these routes here. There's like 13 and 14, Route 13, 14, 15 or something like that. And then go on to the east entrance of Future City. Or we could also just go to, you know, Vermont City, go west, or go east a little bit. This is where the Snorks would be, and then come down all the way back down here. So, yeah, um, I don't know if I faced the Snorks or not already. I can't remember from the last live stream session. So, I think what I want to do is I want to... What do I want to do? I want to go down Cycling Road first because that's the shorter way. That way, I can always just fly to Future City because I have to visit the Pokemon Center and hear my Pokemon at that Pokemon Center to get to be able to be a flyable location. Because right now I'm pressing A and I can't fly all the way to Future City, of course, because I've never been in the, held, up, held up at the Pokemon Center there. So I can't fly to it automatically. So what I'm going to... I didn't mean to back out actually. I want to actually fly to Celadon City and then go west of Celadon City and then go d south and then go east to get to Future City if that makes any sense. So just right, down, and then left or right again. Right down, right. Basically. I should heal my Pokemon the first. Let me do that. And I don't, this way, um, if you go down Cycling Road, I think, I don't think you need any HMs, so that's also another reason why I'm doing this one first, I guess, because, because, like, uh, if you go to the one south of, um, Lavender, or east of, um, Vermillion, that, those couple routes, they have, like, cut, they have, like, trees that you can cut down with cut, that have, like, items and extra trainer battles, and wild grass and stuff, which I want to cover that, um, well, I do have cut with um, Phoebe, but I'll cover that second, because I just prefer to do cycling mode first, because it's a lot faster, in my opinion. So, yeah, um, let's go, um, let's go, uh, west of Celadon now. As far as I'm concerned, I don't, I don't think I'm missing anything else. So, did I already battle the Snorlax right here? Yes, I already did. Okay, I did my last stream session. Uh, if you go up here, I think you can get, like, the item finder or something, if you have enough Pokemon. So yeah, I'm gonna be using the Pokemon. I force you to be supposed to keep your word. It's gonna be the Amic coin. Oh. How many Pokemon do I have I caught? I don't think- I haven't caught 40, I know that. Caught 25. Okay, so off the screen, I should actually just catch 40 Pokemon. And then, um, I need to go my like, card again. And, and get that Amic coin. Cause it- Cause if a Pokemon's, uh, holding it, if it participates in battle, just being out for like one turn, or half a turn, I guess, if you want to switch back and real quick, or just a full turn. Most of just a full turn, I think that equals up to full turn. Full turn. Uh, then your prize money is doubled at the end of battle, so that's really nice. I would give it to Fear Me, because Fear Me, um, is, I always give it to my flying type for some reason, because I tend to use my flying type in a bit of every kind of battle. For some reason, if that makes any sense, I use it because uh, there's uh, if I'm fighting like a black belt dude or a bug catcher, because like fighting and bug are weak to um, flying type moves and stuff like that. So that's in that case, I guess. I don't know. And flying's just a you know good type that works really on everything except for like rock, if you think about it. So I don't know. Um, yeah, I might do that off screen, but I don't have 40 Pokemon, of course, right now. So, sadly, I'm gonna have to skip out on it right now. So, let me get a drink of water real quick. I'm not gonna mute my microphone because, I mean, it's just, I mean, I don't mind. Hopefully, you guys don't mind the crinkling of a bottle opening or when I'm drinking. Sorry if that was a bit loud. But yeah, I needed some water. My throat was getting kind of dry with all this talking and stuff to commentary because you say but it's all worth it i love live streaming for you guys and gals i really take a big interest in it so i, I guess that's cool um i have blaster front i'm one more level and blaster evolve into blast toys so let's take on these biker dudes hey, what do you want i want to battle you i want to i want to try to get my water to evolve into blast toys that's what i want okay since i don't really have any psychic type pokemon or psychic type I don't think any of my Pokemon can even win the TM Psychic, TM29 Psychic anyway. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to use the same type of attack bonus moves or whatnot. Hopefully I can confuse this Grimer. And one more, um, Waterfall should faint this, um, Grimer. So that's good. So it's level 29, okay. And you can see by these levels here that, you know, Koga is, you meant to face Koga before Sabrina. 
I mean, it's just I always choose not to because like if I'm defeating Team Rocket, that's the self co and stuff, and that's what's keeping me from battling the gym, or entering the gym. I mean, I might as well just you know, of course, go to Celeron first, beat them at their own game corner and their hideout, beat Giovanni once for the first time, and then go to Lavender Town and then beat the Rocket Grunts there at the top of the tower where with Mr. Fiji was right after Mar Marowak. Um, Spirit was um, put to sleep with us knocking it out and making it pe uh, have peace and stuff. And that's actually really important in the Pokemon Origins. Just have, just so you have, you know, um, Marowak just at peace. So its ghosts will just um, go into the afterlife and stuff. Just looking at peace and quiet. That's really important in my opinion. And I think it's important in Pokemon Origins, of course. And then also after Lavender Town the Pokemon Tower, go to back to go to Saffron City and beat them at Sylph and take back Sylph and save the Sylph company. Then I mean I might as well just, you know, battle Sabrina or take on Sabrina's gym first. Like I never have really trouble with taking on Sabrina's gym because my Pokemon are decently high leveled for that gym, but a little bit under leveled honestly. I mean I just prefer to, you know, take on Sabrina first. I don't wanna really wanna go to Cycling Road and just have to do another route of Pokemon training that I can just do later with a uh, big advantage because like these Pokemon levels are like at least maybe five levels below below my, my Pokemon on average I should say and yeah I mean that's just the way I've always done you know the first generation is just do Serena before Koga I don't I mean it's just that's really it that's all I have to say and I'm sorry if it's very confusing or if it's not the right order, but I mean, it's just how I play through the first generation games. It's always how it's been. And you're thinking I'm a ghost type, you machop. You're silly. Let's go for the bite. Hopefully this will faint it. Pretty play awesome. I'll take it. And then there goes the machop. And then one more Pokemon. I think after I take down this Mankey. Um, Blaster will gain go to level 36 and evolve into Blastoise, and that's really exciting. Okay, Seismic Toss. So, again, this is like Nightshade, but with Fighting type. Um, it'll do, this Mankey will do, since it, this Mankey has level, level 28, it'll do 28 HP on my, um, Blaster, my War Turtle. So, I'm gonna faint this Mankey quick before using this, uh, Seismic Toss, because it would have faint Blaster, because Blaster only has 26 HP left. So yeah, and then bust to go level 36, awesome. And yeah, I should buy some more potions too. I'll do that when I get to, well, I, sh I might as well do it now because I'm not the far right into Cycling Road. I just keep on forgetting these things. Let's switch out to, let's switch out to um, Fumi. So yeah, I just want to do that. Oh, thanks Brawlmaster2000 uh, uh, for f following the Grotto Squad. Thanks. I hope that had sound when uh, uh, Brawlmaster 2000, you know, forward. It should, cause I don't, I don't, I have my desk audio about like at negative 21.4 decibels on um, OBS Studio. So hopefully, cause I'm wearing I have my headset, but like it has significantly less volume on it if it's just plugged into the headphone jack. Cause, it, but it, to make it have full regular um, sound uh, volume from the headset. Uh, I have to plug it in my USB port, but all my US- Okay, I have- Just basically explaining this, I have, um, four US- Okay, thanks for, um, con c clarifying that it did have sound, uh, Brawlmaster 2000. Um, I have three USB ports on my, um, laptop, and one's for, um, my microphone, my Blue Yeti, which I'm speaking into right now to have commentary, of course, talk to you guys, and have, you know, me- having to me to- me, uh, able to, like, have my voice in this live stream, of course, the commentary. Um, and then I also have a, a one taken from the, my GameCube adapter for PC, my Mayflash GameCube adapter, which below my Twitch, uh, below the live stream preview screen is the link if you want to buy it off Amazon, because I got mine off Amazon. It works really good. I'm using the Visual Boy Advance to record this, and I my GameCube adapter actually works on the Visual Boy Advance. It's just a big pain to calibrate it if I actually, if I start Visual Boy Advance before I have the, um, adapt, my GameCube adapter that also works on Wii U, um, plugged in, then 
I, I have to recalibrate it. But if I plug in my GameCube adapter first and then start the uh, Visual Boy Advance, I, I'll keep my calibration settings to where I don't have to like, keep on setting them up every time I start up the program or every time I want to live stream or every time I want to use the GameCube controller on the Visual Boy Advance. So yeah, there's that. Um, and then like the last, the last um, USB ports taken up by my wireless mouse. So like I have no other. F I don't have four USB ports, which would be really nice. I don't want to really split the connection with a with a um, USB adapter that have that you plug into one USB port and get four splits back. Because I don't know if that'll mess with the quality of the microphone or something like that. So I was, I'd rather just plug into my headphone port, my headset, and it's just perfect volume actually for me hearing the game and stuff, I just can't hear my desktop uh, audio that very well, or OBS Studios, which is where the sound is being um, live streamed from, you know, for like the when someone follows me on Twitch or whatnot. So yeah, we uh, Blaster grew uh, evolved into the Blastoise at level 36, that's awesome.